Dodge beard. I don't see no beard. Beard Dubai. I'm a TJ. Let's make it make sense. Beard Dubai. You got to be a joke. Hey, now let's see some beard. They got me on EBT. Hey everybody, welcome back to Deep South Cutter. This is Seth. I want to take just a minute or two today to share uh, maybe a few pointers with y'all. And before we get started, y'all don't blow us up. Everybody's got their opinions on things. This is just how we do it. There is no necessarily right or wrong way of, uh, of, of keeping your knife in tip-top shape. This is just what we do here at the knife shop. Uh, every day there are people that are in and out of here, and we have our, our blades on display here. Uh, you, you don't have to ask hey can i get this one out of the out of the uh the uh the the, the display shelf or whatever it's there you can open it up you can look at the blade you can check it out when that happens this is my boker out of my pocket boker tree brand when that happens man there's always fingerprints and this is kind of a this was kind of a, a nickel finish to it but there's always fingerprints and all on the blades and and what we do when you just have one that you need to wipe down is we take a sunshine cloth here's the blue now, these are both used. Here's the yellow. You can tell that one's very well used. Blue's a little finer for polishing. And we just take it, wipe the blades down. These have a little bit of oil to them, a little bit of grit to them. They do a really good job of just getting the fingerprints. So if you had a, a, a pretty nickel bolster or something, it would clean the bolster all up. Just get it where it looks nice. Now, this that's a stainless steel blade. A lot of you guys like carbon steel. I personally like carbon steel. Matter of fact, that's probably the first stainless knife I've toted in a long time. But, but but the carbon steel, chrome vanadium, whatever they are, there's how they get after a little bit of time of maybe some poor storage or just being used, sweated on uh, in the summertime while you're working or whatever it is. But but what we what we want to tell you is it doesn't really matter what you use to oil it up, but just keep it oiled up. We looked at the Case website and other brands' websites of what they recommend, and there are no recommendations uh, on what to use. They just say keep them oiled. Now here. At the knife shop, once again, before you blow us up, we like using rim oil. It's really thin. Uh, it penetrates really well. It gets way down there in the in the springs and the stops, and we work it back and forth, and then we wipe the excess off. You do not want to let that oil dry on the blades, or else you'll have an oil spot. Look, there's an old boker there that needs a good cleaning in and of itself, and that's what we use. Now, um, three-in-one oil works good. Uh, other oils uh, work well if you're using your knives for like a uh, Use them in the kitchen, cut food, preparation for food. Make sure that your oil is food rated or food quality rated. You can find that on different websites, Amazon, eBay, such as that. But uh, we will say there's one, and I, and I love PB Blaster. I've got it on my work truck. Use it. Uh, it, it is the greatest thing for breaking uh, nuts and bolts, it and crawl. But, but we have seen it stain some stainless blades and stain some chrome vanadium blades. So if you want to keep your knife in tip-top shape to show off. Uh, try to use something that's not quite as corrosive. Uh, so that's why we use rim oil, three-in-one. Others, uh, matter of fact, some people I've seen use vegetable oil, mineral oil, such as that. Anything works, just keep the thing oiled up and keep it clean, keep it working. Cause there ain't nothing no worse than climbing up in an attic like we do and getting there and needing to open your knife and that thing is rusted shut in your pocket from the summertime. Just use it, oil it up, keep it working for you. Maybe y'all got some suggestions for us. We love to hear it. Like I said, we've all got our opinions. We share to you a few of our little uh, our little tricks of the trade. Maybe you've got something to help us out. Leave it in the comments below. Y'all like and subscribe. Till next time. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all come back and see us.